I'm going to talk really briefly about Afrocentric rhetorical theories. And the big takeaway here is that the baseline that we're measuring things from fundamentally shifts. So if we look at rhetorical theory development, especially in the later chapters that we were reading right before the feminist chapter, we're really looking at like Bitzer and Burke with the idea of a rhetorical situation, that there is a situation in which communication and writing or communication or writing occur. And that situation can be analyzed for its persuasion. And then we're starting to see that, but we need more language surrounding that and we need to understand and we need to be able to ask who is invited to that situation and who is left out? And what are the implications of that leaving out, whether it be purposeful or not? And Afrocentric rhetorical theories become one approach to that and they approach it instead of just asking who's invited in and who's left out, what is the fundamental purpose of the rhetorical theory? And for most of the rhetorical situation, it is to understand the analysis, or I'm sorry, it's to understand the persuasion in that particular situation. And in Afrocentric instead, they want to center the relationship between the rhetor and the audience. In traditional, more Western influence, so again, the Burke, the Bitzer, um, even early feminists, we're looking at speaker transmitting to audience. Speaker does a thing, it gets transmitted to the audience, and then we can come in and analyze it as critics. And again, that was post um, enlightenment that we're even able to do that critique. Idos, pedos, and locos are not approaches to critique, but the relationship in that situation is speakers in charge, people just, I just disseminate information. So these videos are kind of an actual, unfortunately, good example of Western rhetorical theory. I have a thing to say, I am saying it to you, I am saying it at you, honestly, because there's no mechanism in this particular technology and the way we're using it for you to give me feedback. There are in the guided notes because I have questions and I want you to ask me questions and then I respond to your questions every week in my grading so that we can have a conversation. But this right here, one directional. Afrocentric rhetoric would really argue for shifting that so that this is conversational and so that you can provide feedback to me on how this functions so that you have a say as the persuasion is going on, as the communication is going on, as the writing is going on. Obviously with writing and dissemination and circulation that becomes more complicated. So the theory has, you know, all of this key con all of these key concepts and all of these key components to really help us start to understand all of those complexities, but it is complicated. But what I want you to take away is the baseline fundamentally shifts. And that's really important and really powerful.